I'm Nicholas Moore uh, from Mackay. Yeah, so today we are at uh, Timbra Dam up in North Queensland, just uh, west of Mackay, uh, 50 k's west of Mackay. Dow Bait Junkie, it's a 6.2 inch minnow. Okay, um, it's got a, uh, yeah, so it's a paddle tail, uh, a, a, a flat sided paddle tail. Um, it's got this little notch in here to help movement in the plastic. Um, and it's a made from a, a, a elastic type of material, so um, they, they're pretty stretchy and durable uh, plastic. Um, really good because they're durable, so last a long time. Um, I've rigged it with a stinger. Uh, yeah, so when they first came out, I was, uh, I got a bit of a look in and I was, uh, oh, they sent me a couple of pictures, etc. And I was like, yep, they're going to catch. Um, uh, they look like they're going to catch. Let's see how it swims. Um, and then they showed me so, uh, the swimming action of it. And uh, specifically on the drop, I, it's unreal on the drop. It uh, swims at really slow speeds. Um, and you'll find with Barra, a lot of the time uh, you can... Uh, you, you get them on the drop, so you can burn them, and then uh, you drop them, and uh, they, they'll whack it uh, then. So, uh, being an implosion feeder, try to get as many hook points as you can on the thing. Um, that's just uh, how it works with, it, with them. Um, so yeah, I rig it with a uh, stinger system, which you can go through. So normally what I try to do is get the main hook coming back out towards the middle of the plastic, is about pretty good and then uh, hang a treble off the corner of that so it's pretty far back. So you've got a lot of, obviously it's moving in a forward direction, so um, having it further back when he comes in and, and eats it, uh, the treble could get him if he short strikes it, um, but if he was going to really eat it, you get the main hook in him. So the main things that I, uh, I, I do uh, with it is obviously putting the stinger on, um, but weights of your jig head is really important depending on your technique that you're doing. So when you're fishing dams like Kinchant and Faust and you're fishing over the top of weed uh, where you've got sort of uh, uh, three foot of water ab uh, above the weed or four foot or five foot of water above the weed, you're not going to go fish a one and a half ounce jig head. So you'll probably go to something like a half ounce uh, to fish it in that water column there. Uh, so you can end up fishing it at the same speed, but it just... Uh, fish is a little bit shallower. The other thing is when the fish come on the chew and they're really, um, they're really up on the flat frothing, uh, what you want to do is um, you will generally want to fish it a bit quicker to to because uh, they, they're, there, they're there to eat and um, that often triggers, uh, triggers them. So when you're doing that, uh, if you're fishing a light jig head uh, on, the, on that flat, by fishing it faster, it's going to be right up in the only the six, top six inches of water. So you, you increase your weight uh, to keep it down um, uh, at the right depth. And, and you, you, you check the depth of the fish on the sounder, basically. Um, so you can go as heavy as one and a half ounce. Um, but I normally find that three quarter to one ounce is about the, the size that you're going to fish most applications. And then lighter for when you're fishing above the weed. And a lot heavier if the fish are heavier and you're fishing a deeper flat. So those are the main considerations that I take into account. So to rig the stinger, I'm just going to actually dismantle it a little bit so you can actually see what's going on in here. So we'll pull that off, okay. So what's effectively, what I've effectively done is I've tied a piece of 80 pound braid, as you can see, to a uh, swivel. I use Japan power swivels um, and then uh, I use a Miller knot on, on the loop of the 80 pound braid this side, uh, adjust the loop to the length of the shank of the hook effectively. So, um, and then feed that uh, braid through the plastic and you can either put a jig head through and hook it onto the bob and then pull it back through, or I've got a bait needle that I'll just hook it onto and pull it through. So the first thing is you do is you, you put your jig head through, then you thread your, um, swivel onto the shank of the hook and you pull your braid all the way back through the um, plastic there and then it's rigged and then finally you just hook this guy um, through the plastic and he's rigged. Now the reason that you do that is a lot of a lot of guys just connect the loop around there directly to a treble and then the treble sits around here somewhere. The problem with that is if you hook on the treble only, it rips right, the, right through the plastic. In actual fact, um, 
Callum Munro down south, he's been uh, using that. And these bait junk is such a hardy material that they actually don't really rip. So it's still valid, uh, a valid rigging method there. But the advantages of having it on the swivel is that it can't rip off. It's actually fixed and um, the braid actually locks it into place as to exactly where you want it. It obviously can slide forward a little bit. That, that doesn't matter too, too much because it's, it's traveling in the direction. So that's how I rig my stingers. And then just choose a hook appropriate size. Um, and then there's a lot of brands you can obviously use for your hooks. So I've got a BKK Viper 41 on here. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it. What I do find with all plastics, the best thing to do is uh, when you cut them off and you put them back, uh, don't just go crumple them in the box and leave them like that. That's gonna, that's gonna wreck them, obviously, and then you will have to change them. So what I normally do, the bait junkies come in a clamshell. And if you just cut a little slot at the top of the clamshell, that folds back and it still sits nicely in the clamshell. And you can put it back into the original packaging with the jig head and everything in there and it stores it nice and straight. So I just keep it in the original packaging. You pull it out and put it on again. So 